On the actual day of your MCAT, you're very likely to get tested on amino acids that can be phosphorylated. So I'm going to give you a super easy memory tool to remember these phosphorylated amino acids, or rather the amino acids that can be phosphorylated. And that is shitty, except without the I, ignore the vowel, it's shitty. S-H-T-Y, those are going to be your amino acids that can be phosphorylated. So all of these amino acids in the mnemonic shitty S-H-T-Y, which is going to be serine, histidine, threonine, and tyrosine, all these amino acids are going to possess an OH group. Now, just like you can see in this example, you have tyrosine with an OH group. The OH group is coming off of this uh, aromatic molecule right here. And OH is going to be your site of phosphorylation. And once it's phosphorylated, it's essentially going to add a phosphate group. Essentially what phosphorylation is, is that you're adding a phosphate group, right? So on the left, you see an OH. On the right, you see the phosphate group. Now, where do you get this phosphate group from? I'm about to tell you. So usually what occurs is that an ATP is going to grant an amino acid a phosphate group when ATP is being hydrolyzed, right? So that ATP is being split up, right? You have adenosine triphosphate. It's being hydrolyzed. It turns into adenosine diphosphate. And where does that one phosphate group go? It's going to smash into that amino acid and it's going to become phosphorylated. And also just a little important detail is that in order for ATP to get hydrolyzed, it needs the enzyme kinase. Just remember that. And usually, in most cases, after you phosphorylize an amino acid, it's going to become negatively charged. The very last thing that is very noteworthy about phosphorylation of amino acids are phosphomimetic amino acids. Now, what are these amino acids? So there are several amino acids that can mimic a permanently phosphorylated functional group. So your amino acids that are acidic and negatively charged, like aspartic acid and glutamic acid, these have a structure that is similar enough to phosphate that when you substitute it for amino acids, say for example, serine, threonine, tyrosine, they're going to be able to mimic a presence of a phosphate group.